before we do this, okay, I want to offer you a thought. No, I want I want you to interject in this about your comment on use case and the fact that he shared his use case and how okay. valuable that is. Because okay. so many people say, well, should I buy this? I don't know. Should you? Mm -hmm. So rarely do people say what they're doing. And it's like, that's like saying, should I buy a pickup truck? I don't know. Should you? Do you need one? Do you haul stuff? Do you tow things? Should I buy a smart car? I don't know. Are you just driving three miles to work? On a, I mean... Uh, should I buy a bigger house? I don't know. Should you? <laughs> I have 10 kids. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, you should probably buy a bigger. Or maybe invest in birth control. Oh, my gosh. That too. Or self-control. All right. Sergeant Amir. You ready? Yeah. And this is his first Super Chat tool. It is. Sergeant Amir comes in with an awesome question with details. And he asks... He has a 12900K, a 3080, 12 gigs, 64 gigs of DDR4 3200 RAM. He plays dual monitors, 1440p, 240 hertz. He plays AAA games, in particular Microsoft Flight Sim with a lot of add-ons, competitive Warzone and multitasking. He wants to know if he should go for a 4090, 13900K or wait for 17th gen. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. I normally disregard the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D and Ryzen 9 7950X 3D as being overpriced. Yes, you do. He's the exception. Now, he's already on Intel, so this is beside the point. But there's a lot of other people who may have this question, and we record this, and we give this answer for other people besides just the one asking the question. Correct. 240 hertz, 1440p, and especially Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is one of the games simulators and simulations tend to use those 3D chips better than most other games. In his case he would notice an uplift with the 3D chips. In his case, I would say they're not crazy. Now, I do think that the Ryzen 9 7950X makes more overall sense, especially with dual monitors, than the 7800X 3D, because the 7800X 3D at the moment, at the time this is being recorded, mm -hmm. is $450. The, it's $150 more to slap eight more cores on there. It's $600 to get the 7950X 3D. Half the cores have the 3D cache, half don't. But now you've got 16 cores to handle a wide variety of stuff. I mean, once you're spending 450, another 150 is like whatever. Exactly. So. How demanding is the Warzone competitive? At 240 hertz, a 3D chip would help. The 12900K is going to lose to those. In, in that regard, especially in 1% well, lows. He's probably asking the question because he's probably starting to feel it. A 13900K is sort of pointless at this point. If he was going to do it, I would have done it closer to launch. It's mm -hmm. been out. We are three months at the time of recording away from the 14th gen. Here's the problem with 14th gen. 14th gen is just Raptor Lake refresh. It's just, yeah. It's, it's just going to be a refresh. It's not going to be anything. At the lower end, it's getting a core count increase. But the top end chip is not. A 14900K is still 24 cores, 32 threads. A 13900K is 24 cores, 32 threads. It's the i3 and the i5s that are getting bumps. Mm -hmm. That's where the difference is. So he could get a 13900K. He also was the use case where I would say DDR5 makes sense. DDR4, 3200. Now, I don't have a problem with DDR4 on, in, on Intel 13th and 14th gens. We have several builds with that. My son has a 13900K with DDR4. Yeah, he does. And a 3090. Mm -hmm. But 1440p, 144 hertz. Yes. And he's not, oh my God, must win competitive gaming. No. The use case is far different. And he's asking about a 4090. Fun fact, the 3090 loses 3 or 4% performance on DDR4 versus DDR5. A 4090 loses 10 to 15% on DDR4 versus DDR5. So really, he needs a whole new system. Yeah. I mean, he's very 
detailed in his use case, which is very helpful. Thank you for that. We've got specs, we've got resolution, we've got games, we've got what he expects. If you're gonna go to a 4090, you need to build a new machine. You need to replace your motherboard and CPU. You need DDR5 for a 4090. And yeah, because if he just slaps the 4090 on the 12900K, It'll be disappointing. It will be very disappointing. And a 13900K is faster, the clock speed is higher, the latency has improved a bit. It's That's not gonna blow your skirt up. That You're not gonna be wowed. It's It'll be... It'll be a lot of money too. Better, yeah, but you're gonna spend a lot of money to get a mm. eh, experience. I, now he does say, should he wait for 17th gen? I think that'd be too long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, honestly, Either live with it or replace it with a 7950X3D, which sounds nuts. It, it does sound a little bit. Long. Arrow Lake is coming out next year. That'll be 15th gen. and that. But see, that's a new motherboard and CPU. So what's the difference? I mean, you're replacing your motherboard and CPU no matter what you do, and you need to go to DDR5 for a 4090. So... Well, and if he sets a 7800X3D system up correctly, then he can upgrade... Or would you just... It's 150 bucks. If you have 4090 money, you have 7950X3D money. Okay, it's not the hundred dollar thing. It's, but it's still 150. 50. If you have 4090 money, yeah, and you have 240 hertz monitor money, the 150 dollars between a 7800X3D and a 7950X3D to get 16 cores should not slow you down. And if it does, I would argue you shouldn't be buying any of it. Well, I was more asking about the future upgrade. I don't care. If you have the money to have this conversation, you want a premium experience. Don't buy one super premium part. Don't buy the Ferrari and the budget tires. Don't put cheap, regular, quick trip gas into your Lamborghini. You buy premium fuel. You go to the Shell station, you buy the premium. You do. It has more detergent in it. Um, <laughs> It does, they add more detergents to those. So, I mean, it's, it's, you just, you just, look, don't be cheap. And he is an example. Now, let me turn this back around a second. There is nothing wrong with him keeping what he's got. Let's be honest. Oh yeah. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend 100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well. This is an epic computer, and an awful lot of our viewers would love to upgrade to it. To it. Very true. And so the fact of the matter is, some people may very well be saying, man, I wish I had that computer, whereas he's thinking of leaving it. Do you need more? How much money do you have, and are you comfortable spending? If you're wealthy, if you're rich, if you, if you can spend thousands of dollars without hurting your pocketbook, if your retirement emergency savings and everything else are saved, and you know, you've just got the money... Mm -hmm. Go for it. But if you do it, go straight to the top. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. There's no reason to do anything but get a 7950X3D and go straight to the top. I kind of think he might be better off if he can deal with it. Wait till next year. Zen 5 will come out that he doesn't need to upgrade. He could just buy, yep, he can just buy the Zen 5. The best. Or he can look at 14th gen, uh, excuse me, 15th, 15th gen, gen Arrow Lake on LGA. Uh, 1851. And there's one other minor point. Guess what else comes out next year? 5090? Yeah. Just build a new machine then. Yeah. Hmm. 
He has a really nice computer. Yes, he does. Maybe just enjoy enjoy it and appreciate what he's got. And take the rest of the money and put it in the hip pocket national bank. Because you can you can spend a lot of money making a lot of small upgrades. And a 7950X3D would be an upgrade. It would definitely help Microsoft Flight Sim and it would definitely uplift the 1% lows. But are you going to die by not having better 1% lows? Well, you might die in the game, but you know, not in <laughs> real life. That's that's my what do you want to add to all of this? What do I want to add? Yeah. Um Thanks for giving us the use case. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Hmm. No. Uh, the the use case was very helpful in giving a detailed answer. So thank you for that. My coaster keeps coming off with my drink. Yeah, it does. Thank you very much for the support. We appreciate it.